Let him in. Yeah. Kill him. Good morning, everybody. Logan and I are heading out this morning for what should be a pretty interesting duck hunt. We got the duckiest weather of the season so far. It is about 35 degrees this morning, north wind at about 15 miles an hour, and we're gonna go out to the marsh that I went and kayak jump shot about a week ago now. Scouted it yesterday evening, and there was a bunch of birds in there. They're in one of the closed zones for the most part, so we're gonna set up right on the edge throw a big spread and see if we can't traffic some of these birds in here. I've never tried anything like this before, so I'm really excited to see if it works. We're taking out Corey's little backwater boat, so I'm gonna be paddling in there, hopefully make it out to our spot with no issues and uh, be loaded up and shooting here in about an hour or so. So, any thoughts, Logan? Should be a good migrator morning, hopefully we can kill them. Yep. We're hoping for some new ducks in the area, so stay tuned. All right, I'm right here, dude. Look at that. Witching. Dude, <laughs> let's go. Oh, so pumped up right now. Nice double. Might want to uh, go grab her, I guess. Pintails? Ah, uh, shoot. I'm waiting on these cranes. Holy cow. I really want to wait on these cranes. Pintail, that's what I thought. All right, coming straight down the pipe. All right, let's get back in. I don't know what it is with hens flying together up here. It's like everywhere else. I guess it's just this early season and they haven't paired up at all. All right, you got to be careful now. Only two. What? Only can shoot two hands. Yeah. So just pick Drake's. I'd just wait on Mallard's till we get a little more light. I think they're all going out to fields. Hopefully we catch them on the way back. They all got up from right behind us, so we're in the right flight line with this wind. Crane down. There you go. Oh, I did not mean to scotch double there. I just wanted one ring neck. Got another one. Smoked them too. 35, 40 yard passing shot. They're all going out the fields. But got them and got a couple ring necks as well. Fair hen ring necks. 
we got ducks all over us. I probably could have been a little picky, but they just did it so nice. Pintail. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. We can let him float into that grass patch. No more pintails. No more pintails. What are these coming right at us? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know. Mallard Drake. First green head of the season. That was actually a nice looking one. Finally, one with some color on him. Not bad for first week of October. I can't tell if this is a hen pintail or a drake. It's got a little bit of a sprig, but everything else says hen. Yeah, don't matter. This couldn't be going any better right now. Oh, there's a uh, teal in the decoys. Do you want it? I'm not really. I'm a. I only got two ducks left. I'm gonna. Good shot. Got another crane, so I'm stoked about the crane. And uh, we still got blue wings up here. Blue wings can have some fat on them. Yep, gonna be a fatty one. Heck yeah. I think pintails. Yep. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. I don't know. Pins. Yep. Probably the same one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we can probably come back here tomorrow if we want to. I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> Oh, this is incredible. Birds. Good shot. Good shot. What you got, a little hen widge? Yep. Heck yeah. Three more to go. Good boys. Coming out front. Pretty sure these are widgeon. <laughs> Cranes right here. Oh yeah. What are these? Widgeon. Oh. I'm done. Shit. I thought you shot another one too. Alright, one more. One more. I saw, I was trying to kill that nice drake right there. I know, we were looking at the same bird. Look like, at all these birds. You're on the right. Holy cow. <laughs> what are these? Widgeon. Yep. Kill one. Good oh, shot. Boys. 
We done! Get some. Ended on some nice wood in there. And look at this, we are just covered up. Ow! Pintails, bunch of pintails. No way, dude! No way! What? This is a storm! What? A storm widgeon! I'll show you. No way! Holy cow! They get like a cream colored head. I love their uh, wing spread. I love the wing patch on them. They're probably one of my favorite ducks. He's starting to get a sprig too. See that? Yeah. By far, I don't I mean, I think they're my favorite. Yeah. They're my favorite ducks. I could shoot them all day long. Besides black ducks, I mean, pintails. Ow. Out front. Coming straight at us. Oh, holy cow. They're locked up. I don't think we should pass shoot any geese on this angle because they'll... Holy cow. Let him in. Kill him. Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, kill it! No way, a little one. Heavies too. Big old geese. They could not have set up any better. I was just waiting for that back flock that in the middle just drop in. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for too. And then once those set up right in front of you, I was like, all right, let's go. Yeah. I just didn't want to take a chance of sailing them back in the cattail, so I was yeah, like, I'll take, I, I'll take the ones that. on the water. And they were locked up from like 300 yards out, just coasting in. Oh, look at, look in the spread. Spoonies, pintail. Gosh, too cool. All right. Coming straight at us. Yep, yep, they're gonna do it. Kill him there. Wow. Oh, they could not be doing it any better. Yep. Yeah. 
cranes. Are you blowing a life sentence or a psycho? Oh, uh, psycho. Okay. You sound damn good on it. Thanks. But like on these high wind days, they're just like, I don't know, same with like. Well, Corey said it before, like they're coming back from fields, so they're full of food and they haven't had water in a while. Yeah. So they just want to get down as quickly as possible. That's what I mean. That's why I just rip on them. Before I wrap this one up, I do have a question that I'd like your input on. I feel like we're seeing a very early migration this year up here in Minnesota. So I'm just wondering if you're seeing that in your area. If so, what kind of birds are you seeing? The only thing I can think of is that the increase in pressure in Canada is pushing them down a little bit early. But I'm wondering if maybe it's just localized to Minnesota or if it's widespread across the country. So I'd uh, really appreciate any input. Big thanks to Logan for joining me on this one. Really interesting to try a new style of hunting. I'd never tried hunting close to a closed area before. Typically, I actually avoid areas where I know a lot of live birds are going to be concentrated, but we had pretty much the perfect situation to try it on this hunt. Had the wind where the birds would have to come over us to get into that closed area, and then also we had a good hide very close to the closed area and with a lot of open water where we could throw a big spread. So felt like all the chips fell into place. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you clicked that subscribe button. And if you have any questions about the hunt, leave in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Hope everybody out there is staying safe. God bless and thanks for watching. Uh -huh.